morning guys, it's Vijaya and welcome to my August favorites video. So this is a new video that I'm doing on my channel and I'm gonna be doing it once a month because personally I love watching beauty favorites videos so I figured I could do the very same thing for food and my friends and family are always asking me for recommendations, recommendations, <laughs> recommendations. So I thought I would share my favorites of the month with you today. So I'm gonna start off, oh, one of them's like getting off the table with this wind. It's rushing off the table. But I'm gonna start off with my gadgets and tools and then we'll move on to food. So my first gadget that I'm loving this month, I've been loving it for a while actually, I've owned this for a while, is my Procter & Silex uh, waffle maker. So I use this waffle maker for my breakfast almost every morning because it's just so easy. Like I've been making banana waffles. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I've been making banana waffles with chocolate chips and they're so good and so easy to make. And this is perfect because a while back, to tell you the truth, I didn't buy this this month. I bought this a while back, but when I did, I was searching for a waffle maker that was affordable and did a good job of making waffles. And I was searching and searching. And I finally found this and it was so inexpensive. It was only like $29.99. So I'll try to find the link for this. I think I bought it on Amazon. So I'll find the link and post it down below and hopefully you guys can get your hands on it too. Because waffle makers out there can be like upwards of $500. So this was a real find, a real steal. Love, love, love it. I've been using it a lot. And I don't use it just for waffles. I also use it for making hash browns, for making grilled cheese. So it's a very, very versatile tool. On to the next one. My immersion hand blender. This one's by KitchenAid bought it from Canadian Tire and I absolutely love it and the reason why I love it is because when I make pureed soups this is what I use to get them really really silky smooth and what I used to do before actually is I used to make my soup and then pour it into the blender and then you know what happens right explosions dangerous explosions so this is really safe because you just put it right into the pot and then you pulse it until you get the desired thickness and creaminess that you like. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I use this for making mayonnaise. I also use this for, um, sorry, I mean, use this for making mayonnaise and I also use this for making whipped cream. There we go. How can I forget something as important as whipped cream? So love this KitchenAid. Bought this from Canadian Tire, but I'm sure you can find this online at a bunch of places. And last but not least, for my gadgets. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. This is my number one tool of all time. I use it every single day and that is my microplane. I wish I had one in every single color, every single variety, every single style because this tool, I'm telling you, I cannot live without it. So the great thing about the microplane, really sharp but really safe at the same time. For some reason it's sharp but like not sharp enough to cut your fingers, it's really strange. But I use this to zest lemons, great ginger and garlic fresh when I'm making dishes, Parmesan cheese, chocolate, it is so, so good. Everyone needs one of these in their kitchen. I think I got this from Pier One Imports here in Canada, but I think you can find it online as well. Again, I'll try to find some links for you. Moving on to food now. Oh gosh, I'm hungry just thinking about it. I love food. First one is a little Indian collabo. So uh, these are some potato chips. They're from the Neil Brothers Food. I picked this up at Whole Foods of all places. And it's Vidge's Deli Licious Chips. So here in Canada, we have a really popular, famous chef named Vikram Vidge. He lives out in Vancouver and has a whole bunch of restaurants. Um, he's also a dragon on Dragon's Den. And so this is a little collaboration that they did. And let me taste it and describe it for you. Tastes like deli. It tastes like chopped masala, those fragrant Indian spices, but really it's like has that chaat feel to it. And if you don't know what chaat is, it's like Indian street food. So you get like a little bit of the black salt, cumin, a whole bunch of different spices. Really crunch, crunchy, really yummy. And honestly, I had to keep my parents away from this long enough so that I could film this video because they were ready to demolish it. So it's really, really good. Neil's Brothers, Neil Brothers, and they've also done collaborations with other chefs as well. I saw like a Sri Racha one on the shelf that I was really tempted to get, but I didn't because everything in moderation, right? Okay, so a lot of you guys know that I eat gluten-free, which means gluten-free bread. And let me tell you, over the last year, I have been trying countless brands of gluten-free bread, and 90% of them 
have the texture of like a dry and crumbly uh, pound cake. Totally not like the texture I'm looking for. They're dense, they're kind of heavy, um, and they're small. And this is by Little Northern House. I think they're out in BC. Yeah, Abbotsford, BC. And I'm telling you, it's a revelation when it comes to gluten-free bread because this stuff, I'm telling you, it comes in plain white bread. This is the multi-grain that I got just to try something different recently. And guys, look at that. It's soft and smudgy, like regular white bread. And usually with gluten-free bread, you don't get that. And it's so good, look at that. Look at, look at how it tears. It's incredible. So incredible. Mmm. Next time, remind me to take a smaller bite, please. <laughs> but it's so good. I have this for breakfast in the morning. You pop it into the toaster, and it has a great chewy feel of regular, normal bread that has wheat in it. But this is gluten free. It's also vegan, plant based, um, and what else? egg free as well. So it checks off all the boxes really good for you and this is the multi-grain type so you know I love doing whole grains multi grains because they make you feel fuller longer love this stuff I'm there like every week picking this up because it's so so good and it's a staple for my breakfast and lunches. Up next this. This is the Valrona Blonde Dulce Chocolate. I was at the grocery store yesterday and I've never seen Valrona in a grocery store and I had to pick up a few bars because this stuff is gold, okay? This is the stuff that pastry chefs around the world use to make their chocolates, their pastries. It's very, very good stuff made in France. And the reason why I love this one is this one is a, and as you can tell, I've eaten half the bar already. Gosh, I have no self-control. I try, guys, I try. But this one is a caramelized white chocolate. So it has that sort of glorious golden roasted color to it. And of course I have to taste it. I tasted it before, but you guys need to know, right? Mmm. Ow! I got so excited I bit my lip. <laughs> oh man. But it's so creamy. Moderately sweet. You get that roasted flavor, that caramelized, kind of toasty flavor. Oh my God, it's sensational. I could eat it all day. I bought three bars, and now I'm kind of like, why did I buy three bars? Because I'm gonna sit there and eat all the three bars myself. But really, if you can get your hands on Valrona, do. I think you can find it online as well. And last but not least, guys, I am telling you, there are Facebook and Instagram pages dedicated to this. It's tajin, guys, tajin. That popular Mexican seasoning is made with chili peppers, sea salt, dehydrated lime juice, and it's like this spicy, salty, savory seasoning that I personally put on all fruit all the time. It's great on pineapple, it's great on green apples, strawberries, anything to give it that Mexican flair. I actually tried this for the first time when I was in Mexico a few years ago, fell in love with it, didn't know how to find it here, and then when I was wandering through Kensington Market here in Toronto, I found a, a wonderful Latin grocery store, Corolla's Market, went in and they had this stuff and honestly, I couldn't get enough. I think I have like two in my cupboard just in case this runs out because I use it all the time. Uh, and just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like. Okay, and sometimes I do like shots of this on its own, which is so probably so bad for you, but I love sour stuff, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's sour. Once you put it on something like fruit, it really makes the fruit taste sweeter, and then the combination of the spicy, salty, sour, it goes so, so well together. So those are my August favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video and you want to see me do one next month, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. And also, if you guys have any favorites that you've been enjoying this month or products or snacks that you want me to try and you think I'd like, let me know in the comments down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.